Hello and welcome to DigiWester.com. This is a market update on the Bitcoin. As you all saw the buzz around Bitcoin, especially the last two weeks and how the price have has been increasing steadily, actually since uh, September, August 24th onwards and October 28th when the Bitcoin actually crossed the $300 mark, yeah? And it continued to grow, continued to grow. I was waiting for it to pass the previous a uh, high of $320, it passed it, it went all the way and touched $400 on the 3rd of November, two days ago. Today morning when I woke up, I suddenly saw uh, the Bitcoin price had touched, I mean it, it was going down and it was at $350. So what has been driving the Bitcoin price upward, okay? There are a few factors and uh, the main player with the Bitcoin price rising up is China. Uh, as a matter of fact, most of the major uh, exchanges have been facing uh, high activity from the Chinese community. Uh, that just goes to show that as more and more people get on board and use the Bitcoin, the price definitely increases, right? And it's not even, I don't think even 1% of China has got around to using the Bitcoin. Even if 1% of China got around to using Bitcoin, we will see a significant increase. All right. So the reason why earlier today the price started going down because of some hacker sent malicious software into OKCoin, OK which is one of the leading Bitcoin exchanges. You know, uh, look at the volume. 883,000. That's 45%, almost 46% of the total market. Interestingly, out of the top five, three of them are Chinese based. They they trade in the Chinese yuan. We have incredible amounts of Bitcoin to Chinese yuan uh, trades happening and they also use it right now because they can't take out more than 50,000. China likes to invest a lot into Chinese like to diversify into assets, into gold, into all of these different things and different currencies because of the yuan that devalued and it's only possible through the Bitcoin. That was the reason of the price going up and the price coming down simply because this guy, uh, this guy or a group of guys uh, hacked the Chinese OK coin exchange. This is only a temporary setback of course and uh, Bitcoin has got a good thing going on for them. The price is getting back up right now. It is getting back up. Earlier this day, it, it touched about $357 for one Bitcoin. And now it's back at $372, slowly rising up, which is a good sign. Another thing that has also uh, indirectly been driving the price up is the MMM Republic of Bitcoin. Uh, guys, ladies and gentlemen, MMM has nothing to do with Bitcoin, okay? They're using Bitcoin instead of fiat currency. Okay? It's gaining good ground in China um, of course the Bitcoin Bitcoin users the Bitcoin exchanges are definitely worried and looking into this suspicious uh, organization there look at that okay it could give Bitcoin a bad name for those who don't know about Bitcoin who are first timers and they're getting involved with Bitcoin just because of this uh, company, all right? I'm not labeling it anything, but it does not have a sustainable business structure. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm not interested in it. But this is also a reason that has been driving the Bitcoin price up. And again, it has to do with China. So the first two points are with China. Bitcoin price has been going up because of very good activity coming out from China. The next and all of it, flows perfectly in line with what has been happening internationally. Okay, so the European Union has uh, ruled that Bitcoin is a currency. It's not a commodity, unlike what the US IRS did. They declared it as a commodity and they want to tax Bitcoin. But the European Union did a smart move and declaring it tax-free that encourages people to use Bitcoin to buy Bitcoin so anywhere in Europe you can use uh, Bitcoins and you're not taxable man. Another thing MasterCard, Visa, all these big boys are getting into funding Bitcoin and blockchain startups. Uh, DCG is a very interesting company and um, look at the okay look at DCG has invested in a lot a lot of Bitcoin startups and companies these are just a few of them. BitPay, uh, Coinbase, BitX, 
blockchain.com with chain as well visa has backed them up and invested into them so all this is good news for bitcoin and this drives more people to buy bitcoins uh, to trust bitcoins and to use bitcoins and the more people that use bitcoins obviously the price rises up so just to summarize the rise of bitcoin the price has majorly to do with china the chinese uh, citizens from mainland china who want to diversify into gold and who want to use bitcoin as medium to diversify into other assets or other fiat currencies or just bitcoin in general so it, the major stream has come from china a bit of it has come especially from the mmm republic of bitcoin um like you can see here to a certain extent it's push the spike of bitcoin price uh, again i just want to let you know that bitcoin and mmm have no relation with each other so china number one and then increased acceptance by international bodies like mastercard and visa and all of these big agencies are also pushing the price up uh, also the fact that with the greek crisis that happened earlier this year a lot of people have started thinking differently about banks and about currencies. So that is also a reason why the focus is slowly shifting towards Bitcoin. Okay, something that I really like about Bitcoin is it solves the world's issue on transfer and trans uh, remittances. It cuts a huge chunk of that fee we pay every day to use our cards, to use our banks, all of these things, you know, it makes it more accessible for people who don't even have bank accounts all right and uh, of course the minus part would be the major volatility fluctuation like yesterday was at four hundred dollars today suddenly it was at three fifty dollars so for uh, for people who want to pay bills on a day-to-day -day basis it could be a problem but bitcoin is becoming more and more stable as more and more people get on board it's becoming more and more stable as compared to two to three years ago uh, an interesting thing that you should know that almost exactly a year ago the price was increasing at around the same time you see around 420 dollars last november i mean the highest we've closed so far as was on 3rd november this year at 401 i think the the price will continue to increase i think we will cross 400 dollars again we could touch 500 things are different in this one year so many things have happened again with with uh, china with china with the currencies uh, with international bodies backing up Bitcoin. Something to watch out for is again in December when the IMF has its, uh, not the IMF, when the Federal Reserve has its meeting in the US, that also could affect the Bitcoin price. So that's that's the market update for Bitcoin. Over the next few years, Bitcoin def definitely is going to stabilize more. It's going to increase in price more. It is a very smart investment that could significantly increase your monetary value over the next few months and years. All right, so that's it for my market update on the Bitcoin, the rise and fall of Bitcoin, especially in the last two weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.